Okay, I'm going to show you how to put photos on a memory stick, a flash drive or a thumb drive, to put them out in one of these little kiosks using the Photos app. Now, if you have iPhoto, which you may have, then I have another tutor tutorial you may be interested in. But this is specifically for the new app, which Apple launched last year called Photos. So let's get started. We First of all, we assume you have a memory stick in your computer. You put it in the side of put it in the side of your computer and it's blank and it's formatted correctly um, if you're if it's a brand new memory stick you've just got um, just opened out of the plastic then it's probably fine it's probably gonna have a name untitled or no name or something like that should be fine or uh, maybe you're even using a little SD card or something like that um, it probably should be fine um, if not, you might want to click uh, another little link down there in the show notes, or should I say in the notes, and I'll put one up here of how to check to see if it's the right format. You basically want to check that it's formatted um, for the uh, PC, unfortunately, because that's what some of these machines use. But let me get on with it. So here is the new Photos app, and as you've probably seen, it is um, different, somewhat different than the iPhotos app. But anyway that's what we got and we're going to put it on the thumb drive to print at one of these kiosks so let's go let's start out by creating an album we're going to say new album and we'll give it a name like uh, print 2016 whatever you want to call it this is just a collection um, and you can just click continue here you don't have to select anything so it creates a blank album you'll see it there on the left um, if I can click on it you should give it a little circle and there's our little album. So what we want to do now is go back up to the top where it says photos and we want to go through all, I only have two photos here in one, um, with one on taken on one date or added on one date. You'll have probably hundreds or maybe even thousands. So go through each of the photos individually and just click on them and drag them into here. I'm going to drag this one here, it says a little plus. And I'm going to get this little photo of a guy with a lion on his lap. Boop. Now we want to once you've selected all your photos, you know, maybe you have 20 you want to print, um, go to the album called Print, the one you created, whatever you call it, go to that album. And don't forget to select the photos in the album. Kind of silly, because you should be able to print the whole album, but you need to select them in the album. So you can do that in a couple of ways. Hold down the mouse and just do the usual kind of lasso method. You can select them... Um, by clicking on the first one and then do a command click, I believe. Um, command click, yes, command click. And that, you can go through them, do that. The easiest way by far is once you're in the album, once you see the gray there on the album, is just do a command A, it selects everything. Then all we do is we go up to file, down here to export. And this is the crucial part. You wanna do export unmodified original for and it'll say whatever how many photos you have I just have two here and this was I know an iPhone it was a little confusing because you had to go back up to the other one and so this is actually easier now so the unmodified originals are the ones you always want to print you don't want to print anything of a lower resolution than the original because it'll come out all fuzzy and look not so good up comes a dialog box just click export don't worry about use title and non whatever don't worry about that now up comes our uh, little selector window and um, the devices should be on the left over here. Make sure you have the memory stick, stick collected, selected. And then just click Export Originals down on the right over here. You'll see when I click it. Now a little um, window will come up from the side. You can't see it on my screen capture program here. It'll say Export Complete. Now, of course, you can go back to the Finder. And I just went back to the Finder now just to make sure... Uh, and make sure you click on um, the little memory stick here, it's gray selected, and then you will see the two photos that you've just um, added. In your case, you'll probably have 10 or 20 or whatever you want to do, and that's it. And then just click the eject button, pop it in your pocket, go down to your machine, and happy printing.